Hey guys, right now I'm in a weird position in my life. I'm um, I just made food, and then this cat. It's in my room as well. Amazing. I was making food, and as soon as I stopped the music, I stopped busying myself. As soon as I stopped distracting myself. I just gave myself time to think. I put my food down on my desk and I started preparing to eat. I just remembered how fucking depressing all this shit is. The role that I'm taking, you'll have to be prepared to be mentally and emotionally destroyed from the inside out. That's. That's tough, man. I look stupid here right now. Something that's dawned on me is that it's difficult to smile through the pain. Through the pain of being lonely. This cat, as adorable as it is, it's barely keeping my sanity together. I haven't gone boxing in a month. I've got a new store coming in late February. So I'm making a bit of money off that. Just beating myself up constantly. I just feel fucking confused. I don't know what to do. I feel like a failure. I feel dejected. It's just. I wanted to record this because I want to know in the future. No, I wanted to record this because I want to show that in the future I'll be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna make a bunch of money. I'm gonna get really fit. I'm gonna get two wives. I'm gonna have a bunch of kids and have a big family. And, then, and everything's going to be okay. There's no possible way that a 70-year-old kid can possibly think that he's a failure. It's, it's impossible. It's improbable. I keep The thought keeps coming to my head again and again and again and again and again. I'm 17 years old, and I think I'm a failure. This is a stupid mindset. I just spat on my fucking monitor. This is a stupid mindset. Because I've barely lived life, and I think I'm a failure already. What the fuck? That's impossible. But I also understand that the end or be of all things is money. And I haven't made enough money. No, 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 no. Welcome to the outer world. It's tough. I haven't got a job. Been at home. Da, 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 da. Lonely, dejected. Of course. It's, it's fucking tough. No one's gonna come in my front door and then beg, beg to fucking be around me, bro. No one cares. No one gives a fuck. It's both liberating and crushing. Nobody gives a fuck. You want to change the path of, path of entrepreneurship or path of a YouTuber, path of anything, you're mostly doing it alone at the start. Unless you have a sibling or something you can put on with you, the process, you're mostly alone. You're mostly sad. Alright? And for the most part, you have to come to terms with these feelings, you have to accept these feelings because life as a man is extraordinary, extraordinarily difficult. It's extraordinarily difficult. Stressful. It's tough. It's very crippling. I don't know how to, exactly how to describe it, but as the grind season starts now, I haven't been completely normal to my grind season. I've been editing a bit, a bit, just to justify. I've been procrastinating, watching a bit of anime, doing some bullshit like that. But it doesn't even make me happy. I don't know why I do it. But it just distract myself from the shitty reality that I exist in. <clears throat> Once again, that's also not something else. I haven't been entirely disciplined, I haven't been entirely the person I want to be. It's crushing. Crushing. Prepare to be emotionally and mentally destroyed from the inside out. Prepare. It's gonna come. If you want the life you want, you don't have to stress for it. I'm making this video because I want to know. Like a journal, looks like a journal type. This channel is like a journal type channel. I don't do this for views, I don't do this for money. I'm, not, I'm never gonna monetize this channel, I don't care. I do this for me and for anyone else, the ra odd random person that comes into my channel that wants to see to get hope. Hope is few and far between, genuinely. 
when I first started my business, a lot of people were like, oh, did you know 95% of business owners fail within their first year? Did you know this? Did you know that? Oh, I failed my business, so you must fail in your business too. Da, 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 da. You'll be surrounded by people that are, are losers, that have given up. What was that Grant Cardone quote again? That ambitions are often criticized by those who have given up. It's completely and utterly true. And it's, it gets to you. I'm not, I'm not, it gets to me. I still get on with my work, because that's the most important part, right? Action. But it gets to you. It fucking hurts. I just want to know in 10, 20 years time, I'll have this video. Yeah, I was feeling that fucking, those feelings at some point, but I'm okay now. I'm okay now. Final message. My final message. My final message. Guys, I'm dying. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm okay, guys. My final message. Never give up. I know it's I know it's fucking cringe. I know it's fucking used again and again and again, but never give up. All right? Whatever you want to do, do it. Do it very, very fast. Very fast. You have to have speed at the forefront of things. Speed is your mantra. You have to have speed at the forefront of your philosophy when it comes to anything. And do it with the in, in sole intention of crushing it completely. Like, when I do YouTube, make 2,000 videos. Doesn't matter if it's shit videos. Doesn't matter if it's meme videos. Nobody gives a fuck. 2,000 videos. One of them can go viral. Come on, it's 2,000. Luck is just probability. Remember that. Never give up. Never, ever give up. When you give up, it's over. It's over. But if you keep trying, you keep failing. Slowly, you learn from your failures, you learn from your mistakes, and then you'll get somewhere. You know? Instead of just giving up, just destroying what could have possibly happened. You know, Patrick McDavid said it best. The best entrepreneurs, the best athletes, the best... Sports people, the best celebrities, the best YouTubers are the people, the people are those that have given up. At some point down the line, they gave up. So they're busy with something else, they're doing this, they're doing that. They couldn't possibly find time for what they really wanted to do. And they gave up and it became mediocre. And it's very, very, very common. If you go down the street in the UK, I remember I was in a car with my mum one time. And like, um... I went a bit of an emotional rant. It's not good. Don't don't be stoic. But I just saw people with their dejected faces. Like they're kind of like how do I say this? Completely dejected. Completely out of the moment. They're not present at all. They're just droning away within their job. Within their nine to five. And it was on a weekend, it was a Sunday. I think it was like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, some sort. They were just completely dejected. They were completely out of it. They were completely just void of emotion. And, you know, if you're happy within your 9 to 5, then kudos to you. Happiness is a few far between in the modern world. It's very, very difficult to be happy in the modern world. It's very, I understand that completely and utterly. However, if you're like the average person, you don't give a fuck about your 9 to 5. You don't give a fuck about the company that you exist, you exist in, that you're working for. You don't care. You just want the money. You're doing it for the money. Nothing wrong in admitting that. Because, well, everyone needs money, right? These type of people, they will, do, they will be the ones that give you advice about how to live your life. When their life is shit themselves. Did I recall that? I think I cut out. Rejected. I'll go back. I'll go back. Say it back. Say it again. My fucking OBS. <laughs> My OBS froze. Amazing. Thank you, OBS. Thank, 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 thank you. These people with their dejected expressions, their void of emotion expressions, their out of present minds, they will tell you and give you advice on how to live your life. They're all doing it for the money. They don't give a fuck about their nine to five. The average person does not give a fuck about their nine to five. Sorry to be swearing. Sorry to be. Profane? Profane? You know, I don't know, like, I'm just thinking about that thing, you know, you know that guy that says, what's your profanity? Sorry to be profanatic, I don't, I don't, I don't know, how, I don't know that. Or I swear. You know what people don't give a fuck about their 9 to 5, they're doing it all for the money. That's what it is, everyone needs money, right? But, um, you have to understand that the end or be of all things in life is usually money. Because money buys freedom. Not because, necessarily because money buys 
fast car, the nice house, the handbags. No, nobody gives a fuck, all right? You, people that buy that shit don't even give a fuck themselves. Like, you think the fucking 50-year-old woman with no kids is happy that she can afford a few extra Gucci bags at the end of her life? No, she isn't. Look <laughs> at this cat. <laughs> He's adorable. Do you think... Ah, I'm smiling too much. I just, I'm just, I'm just happy seeing my cat. What are you doing? You can't see because it's a block in the way, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Do you genuinely think materialistic items will make you happy? No, it isn't materialistic items that make you happy. It's freedom that makes you happy. It's fitness that makes you happy. It's, what was it again? Freedom, fitness, and family that makes you happy. If you're surrounded constantly by the people that you love, if you're in perfect shape, 10 out of 10 shape, and if you per you have enough money to live live and do whatever the fuck you want in the rest, for the rest of your life, it's very, very, very difficult to be depressed. Unless you're inherently happy, unhappy with your life, like those depressed millionaires are like, oh, I ra I rather be crying. Or the not depressed millionaires, but those depressed millionaires that cry in their Ferrari. And that stupid analogy example that people give everyone, like uh, to not to in order to not become rich, being rich is suddenly being villainized when m the majority of the rich provide jobs for people. No, I want to eat my food. Come here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The majority of rich provide jobs uh, to the economy, provide value to their market, the economy, and provide jobs to people. Like, I, I don't understand how that makes sense. Anyways, if you're crying in your Ferrari, you must be inherently unhappy with your life. If you're crying in a Ferrari, where everything is set, you got your family, everyone's alive. Your freedom, complete freedom. You're in amazing shape, and you're depressed, and you're depressed, and you still want to die. You still want to off yourself. Then you're inherently unhappy with your life. It isn't the materialistic things that are going to make you happy. You're clearly missing one of the three trinities of happiness: family, fitness, or freedom. You're clearly missing out on one of those. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's freedom. You don't feel like you're free, even though you are financially free. Technically, you're within your job. Your how do I say this? You're within a job that's really, really high paying. You might be a CEO that's really, really high paying, but your company consumes your soul. So you're not happy. You're constantly around employees that don't give a fuck about you and your company and just loathe you. They're horrible to work with. You know, it's, it's... I can't be me. I want... I don't want happiness. I want freedom. Because if I have freedom, I have infinite time to do whatever I want, and I'm happy if I'm working proactively on a project that I like, like manga or something, or YouTube. <laughs> I'm doing YouTube now with the intention to make money. <clears throat> one that, that's one part, to be honest. The other part was, the biggest part was make friends. <laughs> that sounds sad, guys. <laughs> I know that sounds sad, but it's true. Like, the money can come, sorry, I'm not going to die. Like if I really need the money, I might sell out for a bit, get sponsorship, Ray Channel Legends. I should play that game, that game's... It's okay, it's not that bad. Anyways, irrelevant. I, I'm all, I honestly want a community, I was journaling about this before, like, do I really want the money? Because the money comes and goes, right? The money really only has value until it's spent. Like, if you just hoard, hoard, hoard money, what are you really going to get? You're not going to get happiness. Maybe you'll feel a tinge of happiness when you first get it, like... But after a while, you just get used to it. You get used to reality, the reality that you have a bunch of money. Humans are, how do I say this? Not cre necessarily creatures of habit, but they're creatures that get used to things really, really, really quickly. So it's, paper will make you happy. It's people that will make you happy. That's the best way I can describe it. Harkening back to the initial point of this, conversation is prepared to be emotionally and mentally destroyed from the inside out if you are currently being emotionally prepared or and mentally destroyed from the inside out it's probably because you are lacking one of the three holy tenets of happiness in life that's probably what's happening if that isn't happening and you still have everything in order and in check this is probably incredibly inherently unhappy in your life Maybe it's an existential, existential crisis like, oh, I'm a small human on a big planet and uh, my life will never mean anything and it's all bullshit and da 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 da. None of our lives mean anything, alright? 
and let you make a, a huge contribution to the planet, like Elon Musk or something. Provides a bunch of jobs, create rockets. That was a cool video of him recently that I saw. It was like him standing in front of a rocket and he like, he was just standing all cool on a, on a platform looking at a rocket and that shit was fucking fire. And no wonder I idolized this guy. This guy was sick. Woo! Elon Musk is sick. He sacrificed his entire life to get to the point where he is now, and you really see it paid off. And I think one of those, that one of those, that type of thing is just so beautiful. It's so beautiful, you know. Just peace.